Hey everyone, I hope you're having a great day. It's been a bit of a long time no see, um, and we can get into that in this video. I'm really excited to be jumping back onto YouTube. I thought it would be a really good way to get back on by starting off with a q and I've never done one before, so last week I just asked on my Instagram if you had any questions for me. Um, I've spoken about a quite a few different topics on this channel, so I had quite a few different questions coming in, which was really great to see. I hopefully will be doing more videos like this in the future, so if you have any other questions, please feel free to let me know in the comments. And yeah, I think we'll just get straight into it. To begin with though, I have a beautiful cup of tea this morning. It's a calm and relaxed tea. I've really been getting into drinking this mostly at nighttime while I've been watching TV. And this mug was a lovely Christmas present from Louis. We did a pottery course together and the person who was the instructor of the course, obviously she's a ceramicist as well. And so she makes all of her own beautiful stuff. So Louis thought it would be nice to get me one of her cups, one of her mugs as a Christmas present. It's an amazing cup. I'm so happy with this. Um, and then this is a loose leaf tea. So I have this little, my housemate has this um, little cat loose leaf tea strainer. It's the cutest thing, but let's get straight into the questions. Okay, so the first question is, how are you and what's been going on for the past eight months? So overall, I am really, really good. Thank you so much for asking. Generally would say I have this underlying anxiety. I think a lot of us do just with the pandemic and how it just seems to continue to go on a lot longer than we originally anticipated. However, I have been really trying to focus on living in the moment and focus on what I can control, which has been keeping me really happy because it, takes me away from things that I can't control and it actually makes me focus on things that do bring me joy, do make me really happy. Um, and it's been making me really actively seek out new forms of happiness, which has led to new passions and new hobbies and activities, um, which I can discuss later in this Q and A. But overall, yes, I am doing well. In terms of what else has been going on, I mean, a lot can happen in eight months and quite a few big changes have happened in my life. A big one um, is that I have moved out of my parents' home. I'm living with Louis and one of my best friends and we've actually got a new housemate coming in in the next few days who seems like a really lovely person. I'm really looking forward to getting to know him more. Um, but the space is in a lovely, quiet neighborhood, not too far from my parents because I definitely miss them and all the animals. Uh, it's been a really big adjustment, but having my own space and being able to just do what I want and really be in control of my day-to-day -day life has been a really welcome change, um, a long time coming, and it just feels really good to live here. And I'm really lucky to be living with people that I'm so comfortable and happy with. I'm also settled into a new job that I really, really like. I'm editing for another YouTuber and she is so lovely. I think we get along really well. I'm really happy with the kind of work that I'm doing. It works really well with the other things that I want to do in my life. I think after a taking a few years, trying heaps of different things, uh, this is a job that I'm really happy to kind of settle down in for a little while and find my feet in other areas of my life. Uh, and I feel really grateful to have a pretty stable income now. Um, especially being moved out. I'm sure there have been a lot more changes and things that I need to update you guys on, uh, but I'll probably allude to them or talk about them uh, in future videos. I have a lot of really exciting um, ideas, I think, for some content. I'm really like inspired again to create. So yeah, I think that would be the two major changes though. So the next question is, any New Year's resolutions, did you set goals for yourself? Yes, I had, I often find a whole year's resolution to be quite overwhelming or I'll set way too big a goals for myself and then I just kind of get deflated when I don't achieve them or I don't even know where to start. So I decided late last year that I would just focus on two major aspects of my life for the first three months of this year. And one of them, I 
don't want to talk about yet. Um, I will for sure because it is a huge aspect of my life and it's something that I'm so excited about and so passionate about. Um, but I want to keep it to myself for now. But the second thing that I'm focusing on is YouTube and getting back on and just not putting any pressure on myself, but just really making that a priority. So something like having that job that I was talking about really allows me the financial freedom and the time to sit down and create more and just explore more. So I'm really excited for that. In terms of more personal things, I, especially being moved out, I really want to focus on using my free time wisely. I think a lot of the time when I'm exhausted or like on the weekends or at night, I just tend to sit down and either read if I'm, cur if I'm currently uh, in a really good book that I'm enjoying or I just watch TV. And those things definitely relax me. However, I don't really feel like rejuvenated or so afterwards. I kind of just still, like I could do that all day and not feel like mentally different. So what I've been trying to do is do things that really rejuvenate me. And even if I only have time for like an hour of it, I feel a million times better afterwards. So the effort is small, but the reward is huge. And something like that is painting for me. I am almost finished a piece that I was stuck on for a little while. It's simple, it's nothing, uh, nothing extravagant or really great, but it's been really enjoyable, the whole practice of it to just do. I find that when I sit down and spend a couple of hours on the weekend doing that, I feel really good afterwards. Another resolution I have is to just try and be a bit more comfortable being me, I suppose. I'm definitely a people pleaser and I'll kind of change myself or change my opinions at least to make other people happy or just avoid any sort of confrontation. So I'm just trying to be more comfortable being who I am um, and not be ashamed or afraid of it. In those times where I have felt super confident within who I am and just like, especially when you're surrounded by people who love you regardless, it feels so good and I just want more of that. When I feel really good and happy and positive, that kind of comes easily to me. It's those times where maybe I don't feel so good, all those times where I'm feeling really low that I just slip into kind of that bad habit. So I'm just being a bit more mindful of that this year and yeah. Another little free time activity that I've been wanting to get into more is pottery, uh, like I was saying before. Uh, I've done a like throwing course on a wheel um, for six weeks, which was, it was so good, but I can't afford to do those kind of things all the time. So I want to get some just like blocks of clay and just hand build, just build like even stuff like cups or uh, vases or, I mean, <laughs> I'm still learning, so I'm not really sure, but I just love the like tactile nature of pottery. I'm looking forward to doing that. I think I'm going to go out and buy some clay this weekend because uh, I should finish my painting this weekend. So I'm excited for that. The next question is, do I still practice yoga every day? Yeah, pretty much. Nothing has changed since that video I made however long ago. I love it. It makes me feel the same way. And I really notice when I don't do it. The only times I don't really do it is if I go for an early morning beach trip and then I have to get back into work straight away when I get home or I'm on my period. I take a few days off there because I'm just couch bound. I can't move, let alone stretch around and do yoga. Um, I still am more so doing my own flow. I would really like to go and do classes or even just do flows online. However, what I've really been enjoying about yoga recently is just finding peace and silence in my head and I find that like when I have to look up at a screen or look up to see what an instructor's doing in a class it doesn't take me out of it but I suppose I just don't feel as within myself and my body as I could I'm probably not paying as close attention to how my body feels in certain movements as I am when I'm just going through a general flow by myself but uh, yes, I do practice basically every day. What was my motivation for starting YouTube and how do I continue to make videos? 
Well, for the past eight months, I have not continued to make videos, um, but I think we'll talk about that later. My motivation for starting YouTube was I found that I was lucky enough to have access to kind of alternative ways of thinking or how I've been raised. I just kind of developed these values and habits that people didn't seem to have around me and I would see them struggle with things that I had struggled with and I had found practices that helped me with those things. So I would always volunteer that information to other people. And I just found myself doing that more and more and found saw habits within people in my age group and I just thought people may not want my help um, but if they ask for it I'll always give it to them and so I just thought well maybe if so many people around me are experiencing similar kind of issues there must be other people like that as well and so YouTube came to mind and then the fact that I was at the time at uni at film school really loving the, that creative world and being a really creative person myself, I thought, why not match the two passions of like health and like self-improvement and fitness with creative filmmaking. So YouTube just seemed like the perfect platform. Um, and in terms of how I feel inspired to continue to create videos, it's always been a really intuitive process for me. I have a really extensive list of video ideas and I have random things popping into my head all the time that I write down. Um, but I will never make a video unless I feel really inclined to do so. Uh, so the reason I stopped making videos is that I just got creatively burnt out. I had no, I found no joy in making videos anymore. And so I knew it was time to just take a break, whether that was going to be forever or whether it was going to be for a shorter period of time, whatever. I just knew I needed to stop because I wasn't enjoying it anymore and I wasn't listening to that intuitive feeling anymore. So yeah, it's always been me just listening to what I feel is important to me at the time, uh, what I feel is relevant and what just feels right to make. And so starting this channel in general just felt like the really right thing for me to do at that time. How has my life changed since I stopped YouTube? As I said, I found myself in a really bad place with YouTube. So immediately I found relief and happiness and just a sense of freedom when I decided to just take a step back um, because I no longer had to put this pressure on myself to force this creative thinking. I got to a point where constantly bringing a camera around with me and trying to think of ways to like integrate it into my life or film every aspect of my life was just exhausting uh, and I got to a point where I really was sick of it and didn't enjoy it. I just wanted to like live my life. It almost felt like someone was trying to follow me around with a camera. I was like, leave me alone. I don't want everything constantly filmed. I don't want the pressure of having to share everything. And so it's been amazing. I found that I've been able to be a lot more present and just enjoy it. Like when I go to the beach, I'm going to the beach to swim or to walk on it or to do yoga. I'm not having to film a video or take a GoPro or take a whole camera set up and you know rush to film during the sunrise and I think generally not having the pressure to constantly document my progress or how I was feeling or what I was doing in certain aspects of my life allowed me to just be me and explore a little bit more without having the pressure to kind of report back on my findings. I really find that that's a valuable thing to do, but I shouldn't be constantly forcing it. That's not the way that I want to be sharing myself online. My favorite foods at the moment. This is a great question. I know it's taken me 23 years, but I am obsessed with wheat bix at the moment. I was at the beach, um, like early new year and my dad had these wheat bix and I think there was nothing else. I just had some and I was like, where, like, where have I been? I know wheat bix have always been around. Where have I been? And why have I not liked these before? Oh my God, life changing. They're really good. And then I'm currently obsessed with rice paper rolls. It's been really, really hot here. Um, and nachos. I just, even though it's been really hot, I just constantly want nachos. I think Louis is getting annoyed every time I suggest nachos for dinner, but oh my God. Okay, and I think this will be the final question. 
how is your relationship with technology going? I would say generally it is going pretty well. I think I have struck a pretty good balance. I still currently have like all my social media platforms because I go through waves of like deleting and having them again or whatever. Um, but I found since I've been wanting to create again on YouTube, I found myself watching more YouTube videos um, purposefully because in order to create, you have to kind of consume some content. It's like that fine balancing act um, between because I get inspired by other people's um, videos and I also just enjoy watching content. And I'm also on Instagram a bit recently. There are days where I'm spending too much time on Instagram for sure and I don't feel good about it. But I've also found that it has been a bit of a creative influence for me recently. So I am kind of balancing that at the moment. But in terms of phone use and um, generally relying on it, I can happily kind of like self-report that I've got a lot of other things happening in my life that I enjoy way more than my phone. So that hasn't really been a problem. I've just been spending time um, on them, like painting or reading or, you know, going and enjoying this weather in whatever variety. I think my relationship has been good. It's always a conscious balancing act, though it does not come super naturally all the time. Sometimes it does. But I think the biggest thing is still just not checking it first thing in the morning. I saw this uh, quote yesterday. It was just like, see sunshine first in the morning before you see screens. And then it went on to say, move as soon as you get up, don't sit down. And those things really resonated with me because I feel like when I do see sunshine first in the day, I feel great. Whereas when I see a screen first, I just feel kind of groggy still and almost like I'm not waking up, I'm kind of getting more tired. Um, and then it's a similar thing when I move first up, I just like, you just feel loose, you just feel good within your body and you feel good like within yourself because you've moved, you've done a good thing for yourself. Um, and then yeah, whereas if I sit down, sometimes I will go straight into like, uh, I'll have to get an edit done early in the morning or something like that and I will sit down, but I just, I feel really stiff afterwards and I don't, I guess I just don't feel as good. I guess it's kind of just choosing how you want to start your day. If you want it to be on a screen or living in the actual world. And when I choose the latter, I always feel better. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for sending through those questions. I really appreciate it. It's really interesting to kind of know what aspects of my life maybe you're more interested in or want to know more about. I would like to pose you a question though, um, and I will answer it as well. Could you reply in the comments, what do you do every day that brings you some form of happiness? For me, I have a couple of things at the moment. One is eating my wheat bix in the morning. Another one is anytime I feel like the sunshine on my skin. The weather has been a little bit all over the place. Today, is, it's a beautiful sunny day, but the last few days have been raining and scorching hot. Um, but when I do feel like that sun, like it really does feel like it's like kissing my skin. It feels amazing. Um, that always makes me smile. Um, another one is like drinking my tea, of course, out of my cup. This it's just like a really simple, nice thing. Another one would be reading over my breakfast or lunch. Um, I just finished a really good book and I'm trying to find another like book to get into again. Uh, I also have definitely been on the Wordle train and I really love, like it's not always fun doing the Wordle because I can get frustrated, but I love exchanging with my friends and family, like how many guesses it took and then the words that we took. I find the words, like how we got there really interesting. So that's been fun. And finally, oh, getting little cuddles from my housemate's cat. He's just, I miss my cats a lot and it's, it's been so wonderful being able to trans, transition into a new house with a cat as well. I, I don't know what I'd do without cats in the house. So cuddles with him have been so lovely. Anyway. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate you and I'm really excited to see you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.